All right, hardest part of MRI. I get this question asked a lot. To me personally, the hardest part of MRI is dealing with difficult situations in a timely manner. I'll give you an example. Other day, a nurse comes in with an ER patient that just had a stroke. This patient has aneurysm clips. So off the bat, I'm like, no, we can't do it. We need, you know, a card or something. Oh, but this patient was scanned last year. They have aneurysm clips that are safe. Okay, let me look it up. No card. Okay, let me check the safety questionnaire that they filled out last year before they had the MRI. They put, no, they do not have a aneurysm clip. It says they just had cranial surgery. Hmm, kind of weird, right? So it's, this whole time is a stressful situation. Nurse is mad. Nurse is on the phone talking with the ordering doctor. Talking about, oh, this tech doesn't know what they're doing. Blah, blah, blah. And then you're in the background, you know, trying to do your job, doing your research, trying to look this patient up. As I was doing it, there's a duplicate of the patient. So that made it more, more confusing. You know, I call the radiologist. Radiologist is like, go ahead and do it. And it's just like, what? We have no info on this patient. And this whole time, nurse, nurse is breathing hard, mad. You know, their, uh, what is it called? Their, their uh, body language is showing that, you know, they're pissed off. And they're... So, you know, I try to, it's not my first time, right? So I remain calm, you know, I don't want to argue back and forth, but I, you know, I answered back to the nurse, hey, look, this patient said they didn't have aneurysm clips last year and they scanned them, you know, she didn't know what to say. She's like, I thought all new, all new aneurysm clips are safe. That may be, but we don't know when this patient had it. We don't even know if this patient actually has aneurysm. What if it's something else? We don't know. We can't go off base of what patients just say. So many times patients have said they have this thing and they have another thing. So it's for me it's dealing with those situations. They don't come often, but when they do it can, you know, stress you out. And making sure that you don't get too relaxed, which is hard to do. You know, this job can be kicked back, but you gotta pay attention, man, to what you're scanning, why you're scanning kind of thing and I try not to get too relaxed because that's when I start you know making mistakes and I make sure that I'm doing everything right the patient's there for the right thing it could be frustrating when you're trying to track down a ordering physician and you know this patient says it's something else this and that as far as me scanning the patients I've been in it two and a half years um I'm pretty confident scanning most things some stuff I gotta look up like I had to do a brachial plexus the other day I kind of just googled it mrimaster.com that's it you know the hardest scan is cardiac for me right now and I just haven't seen many of them I've been trained on it but if I have an actual person that can train me and I can take notes I can do it at this point sometimes you gotta use your freaking brain because like this guy came in with a big cast on his foot and we gotta, he, his foot didn't fit in the foot coil so it's like oh what do you do you know we have a flex coil flex coil and i folded the flex coil over his foot scanned his foot so it's, you just gotta think a little bit sometimes the machine doesn't work it's frustrating you got people yelling at you and you learn to deal with it but at the end of the day, you know what the most important thing is? MRI safety. You don't want to put someone in and hurt them or get them in too fast with a bunch of metal on them. So just dealing with those situations. I mean, these situations are in every job. Initially coming in, of course, scanning is hard. It's hard to be on a computer for a long time. But two and a half years in, it's kind of problems I deal with. It's And it's also very frustrating if you go somewhere. And they have no protocols built. And you got to build them all yourself, which I've done. So I got really good at that. Try to learn from your mistakes and just get better. That's my suggestion to you. All right. Any questions, leave them in the comment below so I can make more videos.
because I'm starting to not know what you guys want to hear.